see you two this reacts to name, John. I'm Rose. I'm Nikki. And this is Dororo, episode six. Whoa. Morocco song, part two. First time we have a part two episode. Ah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Yes, uh, so last time Morocco is in a bit of trouble right now. Dororo's being traumatized. Um, yeah. And uh, Yakimaru has lost a leg. Lost a leg. Lost and it. It's like he lost a good one. He just got it back. Yeah. And he's lost it. Well, it was mm -hmm. one of the first things he got back. Yeah, I but guess. Do you think, like, like killing more that didn't have parts of him would give... Like, I don't know, like, he's lost a part of his self that he had hardly had for his part of his life. And also, you pointed out, he actually got his voice in yeah. killing yes, that one. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, at least from old comments from, like, years ago for this episode, um, people believe he got his voice back then. It seems like it because he never made something for Yeah, it yeah. makes sense. Mm -hmm. Unless pain, you know, elicited his, his voice that he never knew he had. But it makes more sense that he just got it back. Yeah, because he's been stabbed a few times. True. I know. Mm -hmm. True. And the thing is, I didn't even think the Adeline was dead, but is it? I guess it is. I guess He so. must have killed it in the process. Because it was trying, the whole region lost his leg, it bit him it after being stabbed. Pulled it down, yeah. So there's no damage done to it before the bite, so it was still alive to bite. Mm -hmm. So, I guess we have to figure it out now. Maybe, maybe yeah. the blind man did something. Because he wasn't, you know, he kept his wits. He did. And yeah, we got a pretty interesting comment, uh, especially it would be interesting to you guys because you're into um, the Japanese language. Rex Gravix says, the cursed sword's name, Nihiru, means similar to a leech. And though they named the guy with the cursed sword the Phantom Killer, when they're actually speaking, it sounds like they're saying Hitokiri, which means killer, literally killer person. It's the same word used in Rony Kenshin's assassin's nickname, Hitokiri Betosai. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Mm, interesting. I see, I see. Yeah, that's also an interesting topic, because there's sometimes, I don't know any Japanese, but there's some words that come up that I do recognize, mm -hmm. and sometimes the subtitles don't match what they're saying. It's like, yeah. that changes the entire sentence. Yeah, you know? it does feel like that. Like, the Ruro calls him brother, Aniki, right? Aniki, but they yeah. don't translate this. No, that. Mm -hmm. that it makes a difference. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm. but yeah, so uh, guys, let's get into it. Guys, like your time here, please leave a like, subscribe if you want to see more. Remember, you can check the Patreon down below if you want to see these episodes a whole week early, or you want to see the uncut version of this, or anything else that we do. Thank you very much. See you in discussion. <laughs> Uh, that's way deeper than I thought. Uh, bro. Does it? Oh, yeah, it is. Voice. Cool. Let me see the pink cover's eyes. Yeah, it was weird. Yeah. Yeah. That's <laughs> interesting. I've never been that close before. Interesting, Jess. Yeah. You more <laughs> Oh, look at all the money. Yeah. Oh. She's injured this time. Yeah. Mm. Mm, traumatized the Roro. <laughs> Does he know immediately? Mm, yeah. I think so. Trauma. Oh. Oh. No, 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 don't tell him. <laughs> 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 New place can do that. Yeah. Good so. Wow. <laughs> hmm, rice. You were. You were oh, right. This is not the village. <laughs> this is X Men Village. Oh, hell no. But please, Dad, Dad, can let me go play with my friends. <laughs> Mm. He's just letting it all out. Yeah. yeah. There's like this is awkward, but... 
She can't tell them. He just goes off to the army. Yeah. They can't tell him what to do. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Run away from them. <laughs> so you can just feel it. You can feel it as much. Yeah. Oh. Oh, oh, kids. Kids. <laughs> She's not worried. <laughs> She didn't do. Because he can't see inanimate objects. Oh. Who's falling this time? Oh, they think she's a spy because she's going right. between them! Dang it! I no. knew she was gonna die. Himself this time. Wait, so if it's not dead, how do you get his voice back? He must have maybe his multiple ones. He just ones. already had it. Um, and but he, like oh, yeah. she influenced him to actually use his voice. 
Ooh, it rained though. Oh. Yeah. That means he probably killed it. Or. Or. Or he died. Or he died. <laughs> oh no. Oh. I'm still going. <laughs> oh my gosh. from like the first day? It's golden. Oh, I see. see rice. tragic death but mm. i did not expect this mm. crazy like i thought her I, not yeah. everybody i think um, she had to die but dude they came in you're a spy they killed kids, kids. some of them just toddlers there was a toddler there actually. was a yeah. toddler yeah that's crazy it's messed up it just shows how brutal these people are right? yeah mm-hmm. They do not distinguish anything. They don't care. It's not a kid. It's a human being that might be a spy. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, so uh, he got his voice back indeed, mm-hmm. and the monster wasn't dead. So I am curious as to how that works. Like, maybe, mm-hmm. like you're saying, maybe there's something he killed way back when that was did give him his voice back. I'm wondering if it's that big bird thing. Oh. If well, no, he got he, his mm-hmm. voice from the bird, but he wasn't, like, using it or anything until, you know leg got chopped off that that's got to force something out of you you know other than blood you know, scream. i also think maybe there's just some nuance to injuring the demon because look at when they, he was fighting it and i think the demon felt sure it was winning so it was like i'm gonna give you rain ha ha ha, ha. Mm. and then as it dies the rain goes away no more rain for you because i i lost mm-hmm. it's just also every single time we see one of the main demons die we see a statue split mm-hmm. we didn't see any other statue split yeah that's what i'm saying and we know it didn't die yeah. But it, it's just injuring it. Um, 
it lost the leg, but then he got back his leg. He did. After yeah. he killed it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So did he get anything else back, or is this just he gets parts back? It's not like, I thought it was like certain demons had certain parts. That's what I thought, yeah. too. But now it looks like they just, it's like the essence of the soul mm. comes back, so then something manifests. Well, I think maybe for the leg is that since it took it the leg, oh, it technically, basically gets it back. when he kills mm. it, he gets the leg back. That would make sense. Mm. So that, do you think he got something or else maybe then? it was a trade. He's like, I'll take your leg, here's your voice. And then he killed it, got his leg back. Oh, so like even when they're fighting mm. someone, everything is a trade? Maybe. Mm. That'd be interesting. Mm. Mm. Yeah, but uh, either way, he has the voice, he has the leg. Mm-hmm. So they wanted to start their own rice paddy field. Um, mm-hmm. I mean, they had to have hidden it good to not get uh, ravaged through the war, because they're going to target every field they find, but... Jukai did find a good spot. He said it was good soil. They licked the soil. So I just assumed they licked it. the soil. I forgot that. <laughs> yeah. Forgot about yeah. that. Yeah. Hmm. Mm. If only Mr. Priestman had stuck around. Maybe he could have protected protected the. Oh trial. yeah, of course. That's the only reason he left. Why did he leave this time? I don't. Uh, he was just going home. Is that what he said? Yeah. The only reason he came back was to tell them that there's a good soil and a monster mm-hmm. there. Yeah. And yeah. And then he ends was, up helping. Yeah. And then he's like, I'm not helping anymore. Now that you're severely injured, I'm okay. piecing out piecing of this out, fight. Right? Mm. Oh, speaking of which, just before he's leaving, he tells Dororo that the song calms the demon f- embers or flames mm. that is probably leftovers from when they took everything from him. Mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so at first, previously it was described as he's like, oh, is that a curse? But it seems now that's no, like a footprint was a left footprint, behind. A footprint, yeah, mm-hmm. fingerprints of yeah. them. Mm-hmm. Which combined with him and seemingly can turn him monstrous if he gives in to it. Yeah. I mean, I wanted him to kill that sound right Yeah, just, yeah, like, just kill them all, please. I like, I'm... But I think, I think what's just going to happen, because I think... We don't know what side were they from. They were from the Sakai, from Dakai. Sakai. Sakai. They were. F- which, were they I Sakai? Think I, thought, I, thought, I thought they were Dago's, Dago's group. I think they were because mm-hmm. they said they saw t- them going to Sakai. Oh, right, right, right. 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 So, yeah, they're Dago. Which means it's coming, going back to the father mm-hmm. that we found this demon person. Not demon person. This crazy demon person yeah. who can fight like a demon. Had no arms. No arms. Uh, they might have seen the leg. Yeah. The well, leg. the leg was there, man. It was back, yeah. Oh, right, right. Mm. So he's going to be like, what else had no arms? Hmm. Mm. Yeah. He'll um, put two and two together eventually. Mm-hmm. But at least, but the thing is now he knows for sure. He's been spotted and he's alive. Mm-hmm. So he'll just send more targeted attacks probably. Yeah. Yeah. The thing is, I don't see anything really challenging Doro, not Doro, Ryakamaru. He's just an absolute monster. Mm-hmm. Um, literally, apparently. <laughs> so, it's gonna, he's gonna have to target people around him like Dororo mm-hmm. in order to get to Hyakamaru. Because mm-hmm. nothing can touch Hyakamaru, he's that dangerous. But and when is he ever away from Dororo? Is that he's only been like now lately because he's incapacitated. That is true. I'm just mm-hmm. thinking that if you send like 20 dudes at Hyakamaru, they're all gonna die. But if they are together, target the kid, mm-hmm. maybe you could do something there. Maybe. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I was gonna say also, Hyakimaru is also kind of forcibly broken through the barrier of killing souls. He's never killed souls mm-hmm. until this point. Right. Mm-hmm. Well, um, he killed his brother, the sword, Nihiro sword, a couple of yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, he did fight him, that's true. That's mm-hmm. true. But he was but wielding the sword. he's never done it for For a angry. person, yeah. For anger or even because of the person. Mm-hmm. The, the reason he fought the guy with the sword is because of the sword. Yes. Mm-hmm. He was, he was t- targeting the sword. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Even when Dororo was fighting with the or not fighting with the sword, trying not to fight with mm-hmm. the sword, he hit the sword out of his hand, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. even though he was technically trying to avoid him. Mm-hmm. Um, but this is the first time, like you said, he's angry and he's m- literally maliciously trying to kill people. Mm-hmm. So I wonder, like, he is definitely on the verge. We need to see where he chooses we hope that he chooses the positive bright side, mm-hmm. the light side. Mm-hmm. Um, but he's definitely at a critical point in his, in his development. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it's just everything... I feel like only like two episodes have ended on a not sad note so far. So it's, mm-hmm. it's really hard seeing him gauge his moral compass when nothing has informed him of how to deal with things the right way. Yeah. But even his own father just came from a very tragic backstory. I don't mean Daigo, I mean Jukai. Yeah. Oh, his, his good father. The good father. <laughs> The real dad. Yeah. And uh, what do you, speaking of parentage, what do you think the, is going to end up with the son of Daigo, the mm-hmm. other one? Mm-hmm. Because 
it's very clear he feels unloved and he's gonna do something probably stupid, stupid. to gain her love. Mm-hmm. He's gonna but, do something stupid. I mean, he was at the end of the day probably the best thing he got out of the deal with the demons. Oh yeah. So everything that the demons have given have gone back in a way a bit reverted. So. So maybe he will too. Mm-hmm. I think so. Like Hakuma? challenges Yakumaru to fight maybe or something like that. Because mm. uh, mm. you because maybe. you hear about this thing that's killing all his dudes. And causing all this problem for his dad. He's like, I'll fix this for you, dad. That's what mm-hmm. I was going to say. He's going to find out about Hyakumaru, not in his connection, but that yeah. this guy just did all this damage. Mm-hmm. I'm going to help and do this. And then he faces his brother, not knowing he's his brother. Kind yeah. Of thing. And he's like, isn't he like riding off in that direction? He's going to the people, Dango's people. I, I have no idea where he's going. I, he just said, I want to go for a yeah, ride. He to go oh, he's just, ride. he's just riding. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's just going for a ride. But he being him that we don't really know much he's probably going to go and do disobedient things mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. but I, I, the idea that things are turn all turning back um could include the sun for sure like maybe mm-hmm. i'm seeing maybe him like finding out because he he's like something's wrong something's going on he's gonna find out somehow about the deal that mm-hmm. both his mother and father are hiding. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think there are a lot of people around when it went down. Maybe they don't know the details, but they saw lightning come from the sky. Yes, yeah. true. There were more than one. Uh, what do you maidens. call it? The maiden with maid, the midwife. Midwives. Yeah. One ran off and was like, "I can't handle this anymore." And then the old lady who was like, "Go in the boat, little baby. Hope yeah. you live." Oh no! And dies. Which means the one that ran off is probably uh, is definitely a witness, unless she D- Dago, Dago had her killed or something. Hmm. Hmm. The possibility. I, I also wonder if. Probably not, if we're ever going to get, like, a backstory on the priest who he killed in the temple was. Like, I know he was guarding the place mm-hmm. to keep people out, but maybe there is more to why they had that place in the first yeah. place. Because someone went through a lot of effort of carving all those statues, yeah. building this massive stairway up there, like, hmm. Mm-hmm. It could have just been somebody who was worshipping them, but then they it was causing so much terror, they had to, you know, deal with it, and then they locked it down. Better to not burn it down and get them mad or something. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Maybe it, like, inc- encased in them case. or contained them a bit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Maybe. So that's why they wanted pieces of a Hakimaru, so they could be out be into the world. Out. Exactly. Daigo is the one who released them. Mm-hmm. That could work? Mm-hmm. The world was already suffering, though, so... Oh, yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, uh, Hakimaru said his first words. Yes. He Mio. said her name. Yeah. He loved and lost. At first, everything has been extremely sad. Mm-hmm. The first thing he hears is the girl, the sister of the guy who he Crying. Crying. The mm-hmm. first thing he feels is pain. Yes. And then he burns his foot and stuff mm-hmm. like that. First person that he starts to actually like gets murdered in front of him. Yeah. Every single first is bad. It's yeah. true. This is true. This is awful. This might just be the, the bad side of the deal just happening to him still. Maybe the last thing he'll get back is his good luck. <laughs> That's good. That's good luck. Mm. So guys, thank you guys very much for being here. Guys, if you like your time here, please leave a like, subscribe for and see more. Remember, you can see these a whole week ahead with Patreon on the description. But either way, thank you for being here. I will see you in the city. Goodbye. Bye. Oh, bye. Special thanks to our patrons. Singed Corpse, James Lee, Jamal Wilson, Miguel Galagos, and Nicole Jones.